Hello and welcome to Mr. Bourne's uh, Shaving Experiences. Right, um, today I'm going to be using my Edward Jagger with my um, second shave on my um, Kai razor blade. I've had that soaking in water so the blade's nice and warm. And I'm going to be using my Omega shaving brush and Christmas present. I've had this soaking in water for about five minutes. So I know that's okay. And I'm using the Wilkerson Sword soap again. And I bloomed this for five minutes because last time I didn't don't think I bloomed it enough. And I ran difficulty in it um, forming up. So alright. So I'm going to pour the water off of my soap now. Pour a bit into my hand. And rub that into my beard. So I wash my face in uh, witch hazel face scrub and that's got my face nice and clean and got rid of all the oils pardon me so that when I put my shaving foam on it'll help um, get the moisture into my beard and you can also see now it's lathering up a lot better <coughs> so I'm lathering in the puck and I'm going to apply this to my beard, straight to my beard. So I'm face lathering. Oops, you can see, plenty of lather. So I'm lathering it up. So, I hope you've had a good sun, good week. I hope you've had your nice Sunday dinner. I've had beef today, beef, mashed potato done by myself and uh, wife cooked the meat and the veg, it was really nice, enjoyed it. What did you have for yours? Hostages, mm. you ought to come round again, I don't know, put a bit more soap on that. Some people like it thick, some people like it thin, the shaving foam. I like mine fairly thick. Alright, I'm going to massage that in now with my fingers. I'll let that go right in to the beard. All that's doing, rest in a bit, put a bit more soap on here. That's it. Now, reapply to the face. <laughs> only me on a bit. That's a big load to uh, Paul H Films and Kevin Shaves. The first go, rinse my blade, I'm going down against the grain. Not putting any pressure on. Nice and gentle. If you put pressure on, that's when you're liable to cut yourself. Remember, turn your blade round.
Okay, it's about to do. I need to trim around there. Right, mother again. Put your water on it. Not too keen on this. Wilkerson. Oh. A little bit hard to ladder. A little bit more salt on, see if that does it. Here's it via. Open. Got no soap on there. <laughs> so when you're watching these videos, if you want to make a comment and think what I'm doing wrong with regards to my soap or my, my uh, lathering, please feel free to comment. Right, second pass. The request of the day for me, uh, my pet duck to appear in the video again. His name's Derry. I don't know if he's uh, making an appearance or not, I don't know. Nice and gentle. When I first started shaving, we were double edged, my face were getting a bit sore. I weren't used to it. My skin's getting a bit more used to it now. The secret is good preparation. Using a face scrub, exfoliate your skin. And get rid of all oils and dirt on it. Like anything else in life, if you prepare good preparation, you're not going wrong. Mm, not bad, this Wilkerson. I'm changing my mind. Alright, up against the grain this time. When I'm holding it, I'm not holding it tight, I'm holding it with two little fingers and if need be, rest it on that finger so there's no pressure. The worst thing you can do is add pressure. Pickups now. No slickness on this. And what that means is it leaves a residue on your face and it feels slippery. 
put still enough protection on you to be able to go over your skin again. Bit there. Not been feeling too good in myself recently. I suffered from depression all my life and uh, I'm having a bit of a bow just recently. But I'll be okay. Taking every day as it comes. And uh, that's why I'm being a bit quiet in the video. <laughs> we'll be alright. Me doing these videos is a way of me helping myself to get over it. That's the main reason I just wash my face. Eh? That's the main reason I started doing these videos. So I could prove to myself, I missed a bit there, that I can do with these things. Now it's my face head shape. I wasn't going to do my video today, I was going to leave it. But I decided against it and I decided to do it. So, I apologise if I'm quiet at times. Redo my soap. That's working a bit better now. I think because it was new, I think it might have been uh, a bit of newness on it. Now it's broken, the soap. See now it's matting together. So I know I've got plenty of soap in that. So, on we go, onwards and upwards. Massage that in. Oh, this is nice. Nice having a head massage. Oh. Let that work its way in. Yeah, I caught myself on blooming door here. I don't know. Walking past the door and walk straight into it. On door frame. Water on that, lather up. That's a bit better. The trouble with mental illness, and it is an illness, is that you cut your finger, people can see that and get sympathy for it. But when you, you've got mental pro mental problems, depression, can't, people can't always see that and it's hard for them to deal with. But if you know anybody that is dealing with this, then please just talk to them, even if it's just say hello. Well, here we go. Down against it. Bring to roots it. Same principle applies, no pressure. Adding pressure 
is the worst thing in double-edged razor and shaving. Even in a cartridge, you can use as much pressure as you want, within reason, and you won't cut yourself. But these, they take no prisoners. And anyway, I went out for a nice meal last night. Went to a Gurkha restaurant called Kathmandu, just up road from me. And we decided to have um, a drink at a bar called Charlie's Bar. And um, went in there, had a, had a drink, got a bit merry. And uh, really enjoyed it. Then we went to uh, the restaurant, Kathmandu's. Kathmandu. <coughs> And um, had some drinks in there. Now last we're getting more and more pissed. <laughs> she was getting merry. And we've got a babysitter in, look after the kids. And it did us good to get out. Being stuck in here, in at home all the time and working, can be no good. You need to get out and enjoy life. I think I need to shift my necklace. What did I have? Oh, I had the, one of their special curries, masala. It's got bits of everything in it. And there, uh, I had some rice with it. Pilo rice and a garlic and cheese now. I've got to say, quality of food were absolutely amazing. Really, first class. And they looked after you. See? Back to the pork. As we were coming home, <laughs> had to basically carry our ass home. I'm drunk as a lord, I say. But I looked after her. And she looks after me. She does. And I couldn't wish for a better wife. And a better mother to my children. So this is a shout out to you, honey, as she watches this. Thank you very much for putting up with me and looking after me. Anyway, now we'll go across the grain. Now it sounds like um, daughter's boyfriend's here. We've got one of them little scooters. It's bright yellow, now that's cause it banana skin. <laughs> that's like an air dryer. Yeah. Yeah. He is, he's here. No, oh, what about all that snow we were supposed to be having? It didn't last very long, did it? The blizzard. Of 2017. Oh, a oh, bit of a cut. You almost have a spot there. The last video I did I had a really bad bleeder. And where it were, on the back of my neck, I got a bit of skin tag. And I think I took it straight off. So part of it and to learn in terms of hard way. Reapply. Right. 
to it, add a bit of water and it does make a difference. Paint it on. Alright, here we go. Rinse my blade. The depression is not a nice thing. It can be a hard subject for people to talk about. It feels like there's a monster inside you waiting to get out and it keeps saying nasty things to you. You're not very good, yeah, nobody likes you. The secret is not to listen to it, it is hard. So as I say, that's why I wanted to do these videos. Third and final pass. So I put soap in my hand. And I'm going to rub that on the head and feel where I've missed. Slight spots there. Excuse me. Folks putting me down all my life. Saying you're no good at anything, you can't do this, you can't do that. So this is my way of getting back at all the negative influences on my life. That's why I started artwork, doing my old paintings. But when you've got low self-esteem of yourself, it's hard to accept the praise. Because you, you don't listen to it. Goes in one ear and out the other. Just on the back there. Right, and I say, we're going to do this video. I didn't feel right in my head. But I think it's important because it's called Mr. Bourne's Shaving Experiences, it's good to show you my experiences, all of them, good and bad. So if somebody's going through a similar thing to myself, maybe they can take solace in that they're not on their own. There is somebody else out there that has these problems. Right, time to rinse off. Excuse me. More water.
I'll be alright. I know Bill. There we go. Nah, cold water. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. This is horrible. Apparently it's bracing for you. Good for constitution. Here we go. Switch on, man. God, that's horrible. I'm on the way there. Cool, that's nice. Here we go. Again, one more pass. Well, you bang it on tap. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. Hey, oh, where are you? You gone? Uh oh! You did. Uh. Right. <clears throat> now we're finished, we're going to put some stuff on. So, this is called Witch Hazel. Or I like to call it Essence of a Wish Cord Hazel. A wish, a witch. Pour a bit into it. cap. Dummy on. And then rub that in all over. Last time I got that mixed up with white spirit, uh, surgical spirits and put that on. That's done. You can get different. Uh, Smells of this. I think the Thayers do one, and it's got lemon in it, and I think they do all sorts of different ones. But I want to start off with basic stuff, and then eventually work up to that. Right, something back to me old, me old haunts, and putting brute on. Brute. Really old classic smell. Love this stuff. Reminds me when I was a lad, we used to go into boots, and we went to town. And uh, run into bare few mile, get all testers and cover your sen in it and come out, you know, it's must have smell like a tight tight handbag. Alright, here we go. Oh, a bit of a sting. <laughs> You're right. Let that dry off. <coughs> I put too much on. Oh dear me. <coughs> it. Right, and I'm finishing it off with a moisturiser. This is Nivea for men. Sensitive, because I am sensitive, too sensitive at times. But zero alcohol, zero alcohol. Right, so you only need a little bit. Pour some on your hand. A bit too much of it, right? Rub it in. There's not a strong smell on this. So any aftershave you put on before, it won't uh, mask the smell too much. But anyway, that's me shave over and done me. So thank you very much for sticking with me. Um, if you'd like to leave any comments. Or subscribe please feel free to do so and if you need to talk about depression or anything else concerning that then please feel free to leave a message in comments so this is mr. Ball and mr. Ball shaving experiences signing off thank you and good night